Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Jo and I help creatives and designers with freelancing, passive income and tech. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a cool little snippet of code that is going to automatically update your copyright year in Squarespace. What does this copyright notice on your website even really do? Well, for one thing, it lets you know when your website first ever went live onto the big wide world of the internet. And the second thing is, is it deters and stops people from trying to nick all the information on your website and claiming it is their own. So it's not mandatory to have this on your website, but it does give you a good leg to stand on and just to deter people from copying and pasting and ripping things off of your website. Before we dive into it, I just want to let you know that I've got a discount code for you. So if you use the code PARTNER10, you can get 10% off your first subscription with Squarespace. And I will also put all of the resources and the codes that I've got for you in the comment section below of the video. Okay, so to begin with, I'm just going to put the code into a normal page just so you can see how it works because you can put this code anywhere on your website. So I'm just using a standard page for now. So I'm going to click on this plus um, icon here and depending on, on what plan you're on, um, you can pick to use a markdown block or a code block. For now, I'm just going to use a markdown block and I'm going to copy and paste the code in there. I'll just bring it over into the center so I can explain to you how it works. So you'll notice that there's a P at the front and there's a P at the end. This stands for paragraph, and so that is going to be using the paragraph style from Squarespace. You could, if you wanted to, change that to H3, and then you would just change that to H3 as well, and that'll change the style. Or if you're a little bit more advanced, you can put in code before that to change the style of the copyright. But for this video, we're just gonna keep it nice and simple. So text align, that's obviously if you wanted it to be centered or left or right. So if we wanted to change that, I would highlight center and press left. And you can see just behind the window there that the copyright has gone to the left. But let's keep it into the center for now. Um, it's also a really good idea. Well, it's actually very important to make sure that you keep your spelling correct or otherwise code does break. So this says copyright and copy is going to bring in the um, little copyright symbol for us. 2014, that is when your business started. So I'm going to put 2016 for mine. Script. Um, inside the script here that is going to grab the current year for us and then your company name that's obviously your company name so I'm going to put simply white design and then I also have all rights reserved or you can change that message to whatever it is that you like and then when you hit apply you will notice that the copyright has come through there so that's so I've just come to the URL of my page that I've um, got the code on and I always like to view any kind of custom code just without the back end of Squarespace so you can see that everything is um, working there properly and I actually usually put these copyright notices down in the footer because they're not essentially for the clients or anything like that but they are important to have on your website just to deter people from um, taking your content but that is how you use that piece of code so it's pretty simple and pretty fast and you can put it on anything from your 7.0 to your 7.1 Squarespace sites. Hey guys, so if you enjoyed my content today please like the video make sure you subscribe even leave a comment below to let me know that you are loving this content so I can create more for you.